You have to get comfortable failing. It is the price of success. It's called paying your fucking dues. <laughs> Meaning you have to, you're going to work and you're going to feel like you're failing every day because it ain't going to be popping yet. But you build it. That is the price of success. That's what it costs to be successful. They call it paying your dues. And you have to pay your dues to the game. If you want to get something out of the game, you got to put it into the game, my brother. Whatever game that is, if it's a street game, the basketball game, the pimp game, the player game, the dating game, the the the, the basketball, the video game, if you want to get results, you have to put into the motherfucker. It is the cost. And in most cases, you're going to put in way more before you get anything back. The game going to test you. God going to test you. Nature going to test you. The game going to test you. Very rarely do you see an overnight success. Sometimes you see people, they first video, they go viral and they own. That don't really happen. That's a, a lightning in a bottle. Don't look forward to that because it don't work like that. It does not work like that. You have to persist and persist through. Again, you got some, 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 some type like Fresh and Fit. Fresh and Fit didn't blow up fast for a podcast. But they caught lightning in a bottle. They had a very unique idea with a very unique style, and nobody had ever seen nothing like that before. And they, I, I'm not going to say that they blew up overnight, but you don't typically blow up that. It don't really work like that. But they was the first to the market with that type of shit. You see what I'm saying? So, Y'all with them fresh and fit dreams, that ain't, shit ain't easy. It's, it's not, it don't really work like that. And even then, the boys go through hell, but they, they, they consistent and they persist through their hardships, you know? So shout out to them. And for those that don't know, I was recently on there, so go check out my episode with them. Uh, just type in fresh and fit King Dre and it'll come back up. I, uh, it, it'll come right up, so. But, um, yeah, it's the getting comfortable failing, man. That's just the call, feeling like a failure, and when I say failing, it's like you putting in but not getting anything back. You feel like you're not failing. But that's the cost of success. You got to give to the game in order to get anything back from the game. Remember that. If you're dating, you have to give to the game to get back out of to get out of the game. To get anything out of the game. With women, you have to give to women to get anything out of women. I didn't say give them your money. But you have to give to get. So remember that. You know, get comfortable failing, paying your dues. I failed a lot. I just named y'all all the shit that I tried. And at the time, I felt like I was failing. But one thing about me, I'm going to keep going. Not I may, I may have switched fucking lanes. Like I was did the sneaker marketplace. That ain't work. I jumped and did the toy, t- toy store. Or I did the toy store. That, that ain't work. I did that for a while. That wasn't working how I wanted to work. Then, but I wasn't scared to fail. I'm not scared to fail. I just would would feel like, oh, well, shit, this ain't for me. It ain't working. It ain't going how I wanted to go. It's fucking with my ego, or, you know, or I'm coping or whatever the case may be, so I'm moving on. But I'm not scared to fail. When I'm not scared to fail, but I had to persist through that, and I felt like a failure. The job course shit, not pursuing that shit and choosing the streets over that shit with the culinary arts uh, degree. I felt like a failure doing that, you know, the hair business felt like a failure. The, 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 the real estate felt like a huge failure. The online toy store felt like a failure. The marketplace, my sneaker marketplace, I felt like a failure. Home inspection school felt like a fucking failure. You know, the programming school felt like a failure. You see what I'm saying? Until this popped, I felt like I was failing. But I'm not scared to fail, and you can't be scared to fail. And you have to get comfortable failing because you're not going to win all the time in the game. You ain't going to win all the time. Sometimes I do, you know, I release my ultimate ladies man launch or my fucking seduction mastery and I may not make as much money as I did last time. You know? And I don't consider that failing because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person that's I'm gratitude based and any dollar that I didn't have yesterday is a win for me. Um, but, but if you don't meet up, like I may have a goal and say I want to hit X amount of dollars and I don't meet that I fail. You sure? And you got to persist through that. And some people, some people, that bothers them so much. You know, that bothers them. And, and, and they kind of give up on a lot because they don't like the feeling of failure. They don't like feeling like a failure. I've been failing all my life, bro. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I've been failing all my life, all the way from since school. 
You understand what I'm saying? I've been failing all my life. I'm getting F's and I'm very intelligent. You know, I ain't saw all my life because I got good grades all the way up until eighth grade or some shit. So, you know, it's eighth grade. I started fucking up. You know, I got, I was in gifted classes and advanced classes and all that shit when I was young. And, and facts. Once I got to eighth grade, I was like, man, fuck this shit. You know, um, I had my reasons, but, uh, you know, I've been failing since. So I'm used to that shit. You know, when you go up and talk to a woman, it don't work. You fail. You know how many women I don't fucking approached. You know, you go out on a date and you don't hit it. You spend a hundred dollars, you fail. You know how many times that happened to me? You get cheated on, you fail. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You drop something, it don't come back. If you know, you know. You know, for, for my for my niggas in the trenches, you drop something, it don't come back, you fail. You know, you you ain't got no money, but you plug front you. <laughs> you plug front you that boo boo. That shit garbage, but you got to take it because you got to eat, and it's going slow, but you still owe them. You damn that fail, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to put that shit in the brown paper bag. <laughs> you got to put that shit in the brown paper bag. You don't put the clip. You use the brown paper bag, tie it up, get to a motherfucker, pull off real fast before they can open it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's failing. I failed a lot, bro. All them businesses I tried to start, you know, uh, women leaving me, it's failure. You got to get comfortable failing, bro, in order to be a winner because you're going to fail. A lot of you guys in the game, even in the dating game, a lot of you guys, man, get rejected and you just fuck, oh, fuck, I, I just ain't going to date no more. You can't win like that. That dude that got all the holes, that dude that's a player, the top 5% of dudes that you say women are chasing, they don't care about failing. Women turned them down too. They just put themselves in front of women, and they don't care about failing. They don't care if they go on a date and a bitch don't give them no pussy. They don't care if they, uh, they invite a woman to the house and she don't want to smash. They go, okay, 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 on to the next. You know? Woman leave you. A lot of these content creators are failures. They get a divorce. They swear off women. They think all women is a piece of shit like the woman that they fuck with. Failures. Everybody failures, but they don't know how to fail. You got to learn how to fail. You know, and they just opt out of the game. Fuck it. I'm going to just be a lonely bachelor. It's just it's better this way. I've been so peaceful. I did the fuck out of here. Especially if you're running a beast. There ain't nothing peace, peaceful about running no motherfucking business. You know? Life ain't, whether you got a woman in your life or not, man. I, I'm not going to say women don't add stress. But whether you got a woman in your life a life or not, this country is not peaceful. This country is not fucking peaceful. There ain't no peace. You know, a good woman can can bring you that though. But you know, again, a lot of these guys, these content creators, they 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 it, it relationships. You know, they fail and it, they it, they not comfortable with failing, and so they swear off women. You know, I I don't I, I ain't scared of love. <laughs> I was, I, was, I ain't scared of getting my heart broke. I ain't scared of going to divorce court or getting put on. T I ain't scared of that shit. I don't care. It's part of life, bro. It's how the game go. You know, but. That's why I'm good with women, you know, because I, I I don't have that 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 fear of failing, and I'm comfortable with it. I'm comfortable with the feeling of failure. I'm comfortable with that. I've been failing all my life, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Been a failure all my goddamn life since school. You understand? Felt like a failure because I ain't had my dad in my life. So that's how I go, man. You know, and you're gonna fail a lot. You're gonna fail a lot. A lot of people, again, get discouraged after failing. They internalize it, and then they give up. You know? It's like I gave up, you know, gave up a lot of shit that I started. But I still wasn't scared to fail, though. In 2024, dating has become ruthless and competitive. With the technological advances we've made in society being the main culprit, social media and dating apps have leveled the playing field. Today, women have an edge that they've never had, with choice and options at their fingertips. Now, the gap between the men who can and can is the highest it's ever been. So where does that leave you? Frustrated, disappointed, lonely, left on scene, canceled dates, ghosting, let's just be friends, and I need to get to know you more rejections. I know it seems like you're on a dark, dead-end road, but that changes right now. 
I have the solution for you. I have the keys to transform you into the ladies' man that women can't resist. Yes, you too can be amongst the 5% of men who know this game. This system will teach you the entire seduction process from the initial approach all the way to sexual escalation. Gain valuable skills in screening, texting, flake prevention, sexual escalation, and so much more. Are you ready to start winning? Are you ready to become the ultimate ladies' man?